today's video, I will be once again building a small Bloxburg house in my lakeside town. Um, I wanted to take a break from the list of things you guys have given me because we desperately need more places for people to actually live and breathe in because we have one house, one abandoned house and an apartment and that is not good enough. It's not cutting it. So um, that's what we're going to be doing today and you know, I'm kind of in the mood to build a house. Okay, so I know exactly where we're going to place this bad boy because um, this is really the only free um, a vacant spot where we can actually build something of that size um, and also it's right beside the little stream and the other house as well so you know it's like a perfect little spot I'm not that good with house layouts um, so I'm just gonna wing it and just see um, what happens it is Pinterest time to so we can look at some small house designs. Um, so I want it to be like a cute small little house. I don't think I'll do two story like this. This is cute. But I don't think we're gonna be able to fit that right here. Stop it. This is actually so cute. I get, okay, okay, guys, I have I have a vision. I'm gonna scrap this piece of junk and I'm gonna restart because what I want to do is add a little area where the porch can be. I'll just start from back here um, so we can kind of have a basic shape just to see how much I can fit. But basically at the front I want to have the arched kind of porch thing that is going over the edge. But um, and then it can have, yeah, just like on the picture. So for the arch idea, um, I'm just going to add some pillars in the corner. <laughs> Why is my voice going like that? Um, and actually, it's kind of, it's cutting it a bit close to the edge. I'm not that happy. <laughs> I'm not that happy with it. Oh my gosh, I just see the hacky. Me just see your Ari. If, we, if they test me, they're sorry. Okay, I think I know what I'm doing now. I'm gonna keep it one story because that really failed. Um, and I'm gonna add a gable roof. Yeah, we're gonna add that right there. And then I might just add one right here as well. So it can, yes, okay, okay, it's looking good. Um, so for the arches, I'm gonna use the actual in-game arches because <laughs> genius idea. Um, and I'm gonna have to somehow put these in here. <laughs> oh my gosh, it was so funny. Um, so you know how last video I was talking about how most people kind of forgot about, ha well, have forgotten about the whole controversy around Bloxbury becoming free, and they're all angry that. All of the people are gonna come around the game. Um, well, um, you know how there was that thing going around where people said that people are gonna be begging for money? It actually happened on my server. I took a screenshot, I'll put it on screen right now, and it was so funny because they were just demanding for like 10k. I can't quite remember, but I was like, I, I didn't actually expect to see that actually happen. I thought it was just a stereotype, but no, it actually happened. At least they were like pranking or something, but it was so funny. Like this. Oh my gosh, that's foul. What in the hang? Can someone like teach me how to do structurals well? Because I cannot do it. Look, this is not flipping lining up. Why is it wonky? Ew. You know what I actually have to do is plot out the room, so um, it's quite a small space to work with. Um, the main thing I need to include is a bedroom and a bathroom, and then the rest of the space I can just uh, put in the kitchen dining lounge somehow. Just, I feel like this house is way too small. Um, what I might do is extend it out here and get rid of these walls just so it gives it a little bit more space because I don't really want to waste the grassy area at the back. 
This is actually so bad. Someone can just walk on your roof. Like, if they just um, access the mountain, they can just walk on your roof and someone can climb into your house at night. That's great. That's, that's great. Okay, so I have a bit of an idea on what to do for the interior. So, um, I think over here I'll just add a bathroom. I could try doing a 2x2, two two, but I feel like that's a bit small. Okay, so over here I'm going to add a 3x3 three three bedroom, and then there can be a 2x2 two two bathroom there. And then just in this whole area there can be the kitchen at the back maybe, and then just a living room in the corner right there. Okay, I think that kind of works. I did a 2.2k run today because I had to, so that's why my- My voice might be a bit croaky, my lungs are still recovering from that. She was a fairy. What I'm gonna do is add my own custom flare um, to the windows, and um, I'll just add a beam right across here. Okay, I like this window, I think it looks pretty nice, so I'm gonna copy that. Um, maybe, yeah, I'll just copy it and then I might put one right beside it. I actually don't want to make the porch too tall, I think. I'll just do it a little smidge above the normal height of the ground. So maybe, oh, <laughs> just like this. All of the windows and doors are now down, so I'm going to start doing the interior so I'm just gonna fill all of these rooms with floors at the back here I'm gonna put the kitchen so I'm just gonna start out by putting all of the appliances I need I don't actually use these craftsmen like massive cabinets very often so I'm gonna try something different and incorporate this there is no way we're going to be able to fit a dining table in this place, so I'm just going to add a kitchen island to make up for that. I'll just show it in the corner. Oh, lovely. I need to put uh, like a stove top somewhere, yeah, like that, because it's not in the oven. Have any of you guys ever accidentally put any like metal inside the microwave? Because there's a story time. Um, once I had a tin and I did not know that it was metal. I thought it was plastic, but like, you know, it's not the best idea to put something plastic for a long time in the microwave anyway. But um, I did it anyway and um, sparks were flying. Like, not between me and the, the metal, but like, the, it was actually, the, it, it was ele electrocuted, it was a bit concerning. Um, but I was able to get it out before anything bad happened, before I like... Turned off all the circuits or something. Um, so... Moral of a story, kids, don't put metal in the microwave. It's definitely not common sense, it, common sense, um, yeah, it's definitely not a common fact. I'm, 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 I'm smart. Are you serious right now, bro? Boxby should definitely add some more kitchen decorations because it's a little bit limited. I don't really know what to add. Okay, the kitchen is complete. Um, I think that's all the detail I'm going to add for now. So now I'm going to try squishing a little lounge area. So we need a nice comfy sofa to put in here. I'm not really too sure what style of interior I'm going to do for the inside because I've had a um, craftsman, craftsman cabinets already in the kitchen so it could be a little more rustic but I, I'll probably change my mind later on so um, I'll just figure out when I colour. Man, imagine if Boxburg added like PS4 what? controllers and stuff, that would actually be so cool because you can do gaming on laptops. So I think it could be a possible update that could come in the future. Over here I'm going to add a little area where you can hang up your coats, put your shoes um, away, and you can look at your beautiful face in the mirror before you leave the house. I'll just resize this a little bit. And then I'm going to add some paintings just to liven it up a bit. Now for the bathroom, um, this is going to be so cramped, um, really all I need is just a shower, a toilet and a sink, and we 
we'll see if I'll be able to squish that in here. <laughs> I, did, I did not think this through when I put the window, the window there. I'm gonna have to add some curtains, <clears throat> otherwise, um, you know, it's, it's not very good if you can like see straight into the bathroom from the road. I don't actually use this sink that much. It's, I kind of, I quite like it. Um, I'll just add a soap right there. And I think I can maybe store some like towels and things at the bottom. Actually, I'll add a towel rack right beside the shower first. Ooh. What? What? Okay, bros, we are back. I don't know what just happened to my internet, but um, we are back in business. Why do we even have skin moisturizer in game? There are so many things that Bloxburg needs, but no. We have moisturizer. That that is great. Let's just hope that um that shelf is pretty secure so they don't <laughs> get a little pot falling on their head while they're doing their potty work. Okay, last room of the house is the bedroom. Um, I think I'm gonna have to go with a single bed because there's no way I'm gonna be able to fit a double bed in here plus all of your other stuff. This is this video is probably really really long, so on for the time lapse. That made no sense. Okay guys, we are uh, officially finished the small house. Um, I lost some of the recording, which is disappointing, but that means I can show you, I can actually tour it without you knowing what it's gonna look like, haha. Uh -huh. But this is how it turned out. I really, really, this is actually like one of my favorite builds, if I'm being honest. It's, it's really, really cute. Um, so at the front here we have a garden. Um, I just added some foliage, some flowers, and a little bird bath and a tree. And then we just have the front porch right here. It's pretty simple. And as we walk inside, we're greeted with a lot of brown. Um, I just went for a like I did originally have it quite dark, but I added some lights just to lighten up the area a bit. So I was able to fit everything in. We got a, a decent sized kitchen here, um, got all that we need, and then we just have the living room over there. And then over in here is the bedroom. I think it turned out pretty well. I went for a blue and white color scheme. Um, we just got a wardrobe and a desk and all of that goodies, all the goodies. Um, and then in here is our, get ready for it, a very cramped bathroom. But hey, you have your shower, your sink and your toilet. And you know, got some privacy blinds, which is great. Um, so overall, I think it turned out pretty good with the size um that i had to work with and yeah i really like how it turned out um also behind here i have a whole bunch of garden tools just i don't know i feel like the person who lives here would be a gardener um but yeah that is basically it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed and um feel free to use this build as inspiration for your guys' builds as well um i don't know what to say but yeah bye <laughs>